Dear friends, welcome to the Ask Father feature here on the Fatima channel coming to you from and through the Fatima Center, where we are pledged to and dedicated to uh, present, explain, defend the integral Fatima message uh, without anything added or anything taken away uh, in order that not just to satisfy our curiosity, but that we would live it, obtain and make reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and finally, not mentioning everything in the whole Fatima message, obtain peace for the world, which, by the way, only she can help us, which directly leads us into this uh, question, uh, which is, the Catholic teaching that Mary is queen of angels is false. Okay. The Bible says that God made men a little lower than the angels. How can a human being be holier than angels who live in the presence of God. Let us ask for grace precisely through the Virgin Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Pray for us. Queen of Angels, pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So, dear friends, you will have noted uh, that I have taken a position on the question already uh, in invoking, calling upon Our Lady for her prayers as Queen of Angels. So, the chief objection of our questioner is that how can a human being be holier than angels who live in the presence of God? Have you seen what, what the mistake is there already? I'll tell you a human being who is so holy that he is infinitely holier than the angels. This man, who is at the right hand of the Father, created the angels. With his Father and the Holy Spirit, the Lord Jesus Christ, King of angels and men, and King of the universe, who is truly human, is holier than all the angels put together, and infinitely so. The strongest, most pure, most wonderful, most perfect disciple of the Lord Jesus, and also his mother according to the flesh, is the Virgin Mary. And her holiness and charity and love exceed that of all the angels put together. She is not infinite as her son is, but her love and therefore her holiness and therefore her authority shared with from her son, from her son, is so great, as Pope Pius the Ninth, blessed Pius the Ninth said, that the love of God in the heart of the Virgin Mary is so great that only God can understand it. So if her son is the king of the angels and she's the mother of the king, according to the Jewish arrangement, like King David, who was the queen at the time of King David? Not his multitude of wives, his mother. Jesus calls himself the son of David. He's the new David, the son of David. Therefore, his mother is the queen, and for so many other reasons. And she is described in the book of Revelation as crowned. So, yes, she is the queen of the angels, and they are delighted about it. Further, her, um, her power over the demons humiliates them and causes them the greatest anguish, and they cannot resist it. So it is true that human beings, men, are a little lower than the angels, but now we have been raised above the angels by divine grace, and there is one creature who is full of grace. So the Catholic teaching that Mary is the queen of angels is true. It is attested to by sacred scripture, and proven by a multitude of events in the history of the church down through our present time. So in her honor then, uh, dear viewers, I will bestow a blessing through the intercession of the Virgin Mary. May the Virgin Mary and her loving child bless you. May the Virgin of Virgins herself intercede for you with the Lord. Through the Virgin Mother, may the Lord give you health, salvation, and peace. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen.